In this video, we're going to look at using jQuery to fetch a JSON file instead of an XML. The first three examples that we did were with the Ajax get and post methods, but we used XML as the file that we we're going to fetch. Now, we can fetch a JSON file with those three methods, but there's one method that is specifically designed for fetching JSON data. So we're going to look at that one right now. All right, so we'll jump in here. We're using the same HTML as we did the last time. In the JavaScript, we've got the same structure. There's the global variable data, the init function that runs when the document's ready. Here's our init function. We're checking if data is null to make the call. Uh, we've got two functions, a good one and a bad one. Good JSON, fail JSON. Good JSON's going to run if the data is there. Fail JSON's going to run if it fails to get the data or if it fails to parse it. All right, so the method that we're going to use is called getJSON. The first parameter that we're going to use inside here is what is the name of the file that we're going to get. So we're going to use a data file, which is obviously going to be a JavaScript JSON file. And it's going to have almost the same name. It's sample data onejs just like the get and post methods, we're going to put in the name of the good function, so good JSON, and then at the end we will tack on or chain on the fail method. So fail JSON is the function that we're going to call if this doesn't work. Now, down inside the method here, XHR data, that is the data that comes back. Status is the text message that is coming back to say it worked, it didn't work. What's the current status? Is it a 200? So on. So that's being put into our global data variable. And then we want to be able to read that data. So let's take a look at that file for just one second. Here it is. It's the same information as we had in the XML file. It's just saved as JSON. So there is a object called red there's an object called blue. Inside red, there's an array. Inside blue, there's an array. The array has a series of objects in it. Each object has a property called item inside that. So moving back to our file, if we want to access this, we want to be able to append to our output div. This is what we're going to do. And in appending, we're going to add on a paragraph. And inside that paragraph, I want to get data.red number zero dot item. So that will be the first item property inside of the array called red. And then I'll put a space and then I'll add in data dot blue number three. So that's the fourth item in the blue object. And then at the end we have to put our closing paragraph tag. There we go. We save that. We'll jump over to our browser. Refresh. There we go. There is a fail message. This is what the fail method does if it doesn't work. So it's found an error in the parsing. Let's bring up the tools. We can look at our data. So developer tools. In the network section, if I were to reload this page, here's all of the files that are being requested. Sample data one. That is our data right here. This is the information that's being called up. This is the response that comes back. We can look at the headers to see what it is, what it was expecting. So in the response headers here, pull this up so we can see it. In the response headers, this is the, the headers that come back. Request headers, this is the stuff that went from the browser to the server. And this is the data that came back. So we'll jump back over to our Dreamweaver file for one second. 
Okay, so the problem was in parsing our JavaScript file, so there's obviously something that I did not like about this file. We'll take a look at that. Okay, here it is. These round parentheses that we've got at the start and at the end, if we want JavaScript to work with those, this file directly, we need to put these in here. Otherwise, as you can see, Dreamweaver recognizes there's a fact that there's a JavaScript problem here. However, the data coming from the server, it's much happier if we just do this. If we just have the curly braces around the whole thing, if I save that, jump back over here, if I reload the page now, there it is. Apples and Blue Moon. So Apples was the first thing here, and Blue Moon was the fourth thing in the blue. Water, Blueberries, Viagra, Blue Moon. There we go. That's the fourth thing from that file. So that will complete our data retrieval from a JSON file with the getJSON method.